the former Trump White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows reportedly testifying with immunity in the federal investigation of Donald Trump and the 2020 election subversion. Joining us now, one of Trump's current rivals for the Republican presidential nomination, the former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Governor, thanks so much for joining us. You're a former also federal prosecutor. You, was the, you, were, you were the U.S. attorney in New Jersey for about six years. How worried should Trump be right now about Mark Meadows being granted immunity? Desperately worried. Um, Wolf, I'll tell you a story. The day that Donald Trump uh, named Mark Meadows chief of staff, uh, he called me and told me that Mark Meadows was going to be the next James Baker. Uh, now, look, if the person you call the next James Baker is now testifying that you were lying to the American people about the election results from election night forward, which is reportedly what Mark Meadows is testifying, and that you knew all along that what you were saying was not backed up by the facts. Donald Trump is in very, very big trouble, and he is going to face real jail time for doing this if that's what's proven in court. Right now, Trump is uh, clearly still the dominant frontrunner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. Will this latest development with Mark Meadows actually impact how voters, Republican voters, feel about the former president? Uh, Wolf, the walls are closing in on Donald Trump. Jenna Ellis pled guilty today. She's agreed to testify against the former president. Sidney Powell's agreed to testify before the former pre against the former president. Ken Chesbro has agreed to uh, testify against the former president, not only in Atlanta, but also in the federal January 6th trial for Jack Smith. And now Mark Meadows. And Mark Meadows was, as you know, Wolf, Donald Trump's shadow. The entire time he was chief of staff, he will know every conversation, every lie, every illegal action that was taken by Donald Trump. And he's going to be able to testify to it. And he's not going to be able to back off of what he told me, which was he considered Mark Meadows the next James A. Baker III. Well, if you think he's got that much integrity, trust, and honor, that's the wrong person to have sitting in the witness chair pointing the finger of guilt at you if you're Donald Trump. And that's going to affect Republican voters as we get ready to vote in Iowa and New Hampshire over the next three to four months. Do you think these plea deals, these immunity deals, will lead to even more people from Trump's inner circle seeking immunity or a plea deal, for that matter, with the prosecutors? Of course it will, Wolf, because it's like a game of musical chairs. There's only so many chairs and there's always more people than there are chairs. And the sooner you get in a chair, the sooner you know you're not going to jail. Um, and you never know when the music's going to stop playing, and they're not going to let you take a seat. I did this for seven years, Wolf, in the fifth largest office in America. Um, I did over 130 corruption trials without a defeat. I know how this is done. They are doing a textbook. It's clear that Fannie Willis and Jack Smith are cooperating with each other, looking to buttress each other's cases. Um, this is all bad news for Donald Trump. But the worst news is his conduct. None of this would be happening if he hadn't lied about the election, attempted to overturn it, and then incite people to try to stop the certification of it. All of those things are things that he'll be on trial for on January 6th. And we haven't even spoken about the illegal classified documents that he heisted out of the White House and how much trouble he's in for that as well. Yeah, lots going on. Chris Christie, thanks so much for joining us. Wolf, thanks for having me.